Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today I am going to be playing another Heights of Iron mod But today there's, there's something a little different. I think you can notice it uh, Maybe by this but it's or maybe by just the title itself But today we are going to be playing Hearts of Minecraft. It is a new It's a, an old mod that used to exist on Hoi 4. I've never played it and um, you can kind of see here, I, I've, I've played a little bit of this, and by a little, I literally mean like three minutes of it. But today, I'm going to be playing this um, <laughs> this Minecraft mod, and hoping for the best, because honestly, there's some things I just don't understand whatsoever in this mod, and I just kind of want to play it, just to see what it's all about. So here we have a couple of uh, uh, starting nations, we could play as the zombie lands, the lich king's realm you can play a southern ominous hey we can play a bunch of people but today i'm going to be playing fallen kingdom why because one it's an obvious reference and two i just want to play it because it's probably the easiest one to play so right out of the bat we need to do the last offensive which basically means try not to die hopefully you don't so here's the thing to get to the last offensive and get victory you essentially what you have to do is go down this focus tree uh, this can be ignored, doesn't really matter, but you gotta at least do a couple of these and then just try and get this stuff done. We do start off with a very, very beautiful army with 31 divisions, and we start off with Joseph Gray, don't know who that was, and Captain Sparkles, a definitely just subtle nod to the original song, wow. Alright, well... We also start off with some puppet nations. We start off with this guy, this guy, this guy. Oh, this guy's actually kind of handsome. Anyway, we start off with those guys. Uh, someone else, actually. Maybe? I don't... I have no idea where the fourth one is. Uh, I think he's, I think they'll pop up. Anyway, beyond that, basically what we have to do is get rid of the zombie horde, which is here. So the plan here is essentially try not to die and uh, just build up the in industry as well. So the war is actually pretty easy because you can uh, you can just do this. You know, you could just basically try and encircle as much as possible. Oh yeah, and also they have a really stupid modifier which gives them minus 100 defense. So if they're defending, they're essentially shit at it. So beyond that, we're just gonna try our best to get past the last offensive, which, um, yeah, we're gonna need that to add a couple days to it. We can do 35 just to get the victory thing, but right now we just need to get this to um to, to actually succeed. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you. All right, I guess we're just walking right into the capital. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I I didn't think this would this would be that fast. But anyway, we got some new troops, some reserves. That all of them are horses. I have no idea why, you know. But hell, might as well work. And they're at 100%. Yes. This is what I mean, okay? It wasn't hard, child. There's like just pure monsters over here. Every, all, look, all of these make some sense, okay? And then you, what the fuck? That is ugly as hell. What kind of... What? <laughs> Why does this mod exist? Why why is that portrait a thing? All right. I am scared. I I am scared, man. All right, I made my decision. I I might be switching to Jacob. Jacob saved me from this shit game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, okay, look, I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is my second playthrough and I I look at military government, okay? And this looks fucking great. So I'm I'm not going to do national coup. I'm going to do this instead. And also, apparently, Imperia collapsed into, like, 50 dozen... Oh my god, it's Mussolini. And the Imperian Empire is dead. And Jacob is the new leader. That's Joseph. Jo Joseph, uh, okay. I am just as confused as I was beforehand. But you know what, Jacob, you're the new leader. You give me, like, some really good political power, actually. So we're just gonna let you run this country. I don't... Okay, I can recruit him. <laughs> <laughs> They're stealing TF2 operatives. Okay, yeah, no, we're sending you. We're sending you over here to Misty Plains. I, okay, that's fucking hilarious, but 
Like, I, I can't really just take the references, man. There's just so many fucking references here that make me laugh, but... <laughs> damn, is this... Like, damn, alright, this game just doesn't take itself seriously one bit. Alright, let me just get some infantry company. Maybe they'll help out. And now we can annex the villages and hope and pray that this works. These guys somehow have a pretty decent army. And I can't allow that, actually. But what I can't... Okay. In the Cult of Jacob. There's no text to this, and Jacob isn't an old man. In fact, he's quite a handsome man. He's a, he's a soldier. Why would you have an old man as a soldier? The more I question this game, the more I kind of ask myself, why am I even questioning this stupid game? Okay, okay, so two people accepted our demands. Who didn't accept our demands? The nobles. Oh, fuck. You see, I always knew that these nobility were always sh were always bad people, okay? They just, they, they should have listened. They, I'm sorry, son, but you should you should have listened. I have a tank. Do you know how threatening a tank is in this game? It's like fucking, it's like a murder weapon. Alright, people, why, why... Why, why no work? Why no work, guys? Alright, what if I just select one group? Alright, it looks like my country has, uh, has been, the, has done did the stupid, and now I may actually have to reset my game. I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, so I restarted the game, and my troops are still kind of acting pretty stupid, but apparently they don't get kicked out of the faction even when we have a war goal against them. So now we basically just have to wait till April to get them done, and that essentially means that we can't do any of these focuses until, you know, we get them, so in the meanwhile, might as well just start taking over a couple other countries. Hello, sir. Would you like to die, too? Um, they they weren't kicked out of the faction, which essentially means I have to fucking declare war on them myself before anything, and they're gone. That was fast. Anyway, I'm taking you, and now you're mine forever. Oh, I don't know how this mod works 90% of the time. I'm just, I just hello hello Saudi Arabian uh hello Saudi Arabian villager. Would you like to die today? You have, like, zero troops, but you know what? Might as well. I just want to take you for no reason. It looks like they're they're trying to improve relations with these people. I think they're going to try and go against me. Do these people know who they're messing with? The great Jacob? The nationalist Jacob of the Eastern Kingdom? They don't know who they're messing with, alright? They think that they could just wait. No. No, I'm sorry, your time for- I'm never gonna click on that again. You know what, I'm just gonna... As, shall we say... Speed up the process. Because, let me be real, Chief, there's no fucking way I'm going to be able to do any of this... Fast enough, like... This, this is going to take forever, so I'm just gonna have my puppet here. Its name is Akibaba, and now it's led by, um, an illager, but they're not an illager. And, uh, yeah, you know, that's, that's it. I'm gonna invite him to the faction, and then we're, we're gonna be strong together, Alibaba, or Akibaba. I, I have no idea what that's even supposed to mean. Oh yeah, Did you, do you like how the fact that the Eastern Kingdom is literally over here for no reason? Yeah, I may have taken these guys out. I forgot what their name was. It was something like uh, Hermitcraft. I think, yeah, it's Hermitcraft. So I essentially, I ended the Hermitcraft thing, so now they're just kind of dead. But all in, all in favor of just taking over the world, okay? Eastern Kingdom is a pretty massive kingdom, man. We made this a big beefy boy. Oh yeah, whatever happened to it? Oh. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all, is it? 
it seems that the abandoned portals still don't work. So there was absolutely no purpose to them, basically. They just, they just kind of exist, and they're not even used by anyone. Nice, I guess. I don't, I don't even know really what to say with that one. That one's just, that was just stupid. I don't know. If they're gonna use future stuff, like abandoned portals, I heavily suggest that they, you know, actually give them a fucking function. Because in this, in this mod one, I don't even have one, so. Uh, uh-oh. Wait, no. 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 Oh, well, my troops have been encircled, basically. I think I did a pretty decent run of the Eastern Kingdom. Definitely something I would play again. The game is just extremely boring, and I'm not even done with any of the countries. I still have these to invade, but... That's about it. Um, Would I play this mod again? Probably not. It still has so much to improve on. I feel like, like... There's some nice countries like this that I don't know if they have a focus tree or not. Yeah, the, like, some countries like this don't have focus trees. This empire, I'm pretty sure, doesn't have one either. So, it's really, like, a couple nations. Would I play this game again? Yeah, maybe. But for future challenges, yeah, I'd say yeah. This is pretty fun, even if it wasn't the best. But I think it still needs some time to develop. Other than that, I've been Crusader King. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.